Guys, I'm super excited to open this package. You might have seen it in a thumbnail, but I don't really know yet how it will look when I open this. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to Ivy Plays Music. This is a special video. As you can see, I have a box right here, uh, and I'm going to unbox a guitar. Yes, there is a guitar in here. Even though it doesn't really seem like it, there is definitely a guitar in here. And guys, I'm super glad because this is the first time that a company sent me one of their own products for free to review and to unbox. And it just happens to be a company that I'm familiar with and I already own a product from them which is my other guitar here which you might have seen in previous videos and my travel videos my tutorials and such and this is a journey OF 660M the matte black finished version right this is made of carbon fiber and it's semi-acoustic I can plug this in but apparently this is an electric guitar. This is their new product and just like the guitar that I already own this is a collapsible guitar because otherwise this should not fit into this box. I'm gonna get some scissors and we're gonna open it together. I'm very hyped on the thumbnail. You guys will already have seen the guitar. I haven't at this moment yet. Let's open this. I, I don't know really. I haven't really done an unboxing like this on my channel right here. Not with a big package like this. So I hope it's pretty clear. Let me just... It says it's fragile, so I have to be pretty careful when opening this. Uh, by the way guys, whilst I'm opening this, if you want some of the products of this company, of Journey Instruments, there is an affiliate link in the description down below. So if you use that code, that gives a little bit of support to me as well. It's not really that it's that big of a deal probably because it's a pretty niche market. Travel guitars and such, they don't only have travel guitars, they also have other instruments, but that's just what I use when I travel. It's also with a backpack. Uh, my other guitar also came with a backpack. Let's see, how should I approach this? <laughs> This is pretty tricky actually. I think it's upside down this way, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, looks like they have a bit of an upgrade uh, or an updated version of their backpack. Oh god damn, this really looks like a much sturdier bag than I have for my other guitar. The old backpack, this is the new backpack. So I don't know if it's really clear to see Size-wise, it's pretty similar, but of course, this guitar contains an electric guitar, which usually is not as thick as an acoustic guitar or semi-acoustic guitar. There's another logo, probably because it's traveling by an airplane. I think it's something like that, but it's definitely not on the older backpack. Then here we have the brand Journey Instruments. They definitely upgraded the straps and the padding, I think. There's a nice handle here on top. There are like more pouches in this. Let's see what pouches we have here. We'll get to the guitar in a moment, guys. Stay tuned. Okay. So in this pouch, there are multiple different options. Like you can put different stuff, different types of stuff. There's another device in here, a headphone amp. Now I didn't know about this tool. A while ago they asked me to review something uh, and this might be just that. I think it is. I might just have to test that out in another video. On top we have, I would assume with a trolley or such or with some luggage that there would be a handle here. But apparently this is for something else. I don't know yet what exactly but... I guess we'll see. Guys, future me here, after watching again uh, and thinking about it, I think this zipper might actually be for when you don't want to take off the arm of the guitar, that you can just put the arm through this hole and so the chest is uh, protected but the arm is outside. So you don't always need to separate the arm when you put it in this bag. I think it's actually meant for that. And if it's not, I mean, you could, do it anyways. That's the only thing. Uh, let's get back to the video. 
on the back straps we have a little uh, connection here so that you can really tighten it in front of you does it really replace a hiking backpack i don't really necessarily think so but it's definitely handy there is another pouch here uh, when you go traveling so that you can slide it over uh, like that there are some side pouches here and you can tighten this down okay okay guys are you ready i don't know if i am actually oh there are two main pouches okay so i missed another pouch so right here there is kind of a big pouch i have the feeling that i have much more space much more room in this backpack than the other one. Oh, so this is the arm of the guitar really that's that's surprising because in the other guitar the arm is not really fully separated uh, or it is that the strings aren't attached yet I'm not sure let me show you a bit how it looks inside the backpack so we have a bigger pouch right here it is really fully to the bottom of this backpack actually I hope you're ready for the main course here I think I assume this is the arm of the guitar I mean I don't know what else it would be but let me we have a zipper and we have some velcro as well I don't know okay let's see so this is definitely the arm oh wow so it is really just the arm exactly like you have the logo of journey instruments right there we have the frets all of the frets this is a right-handed guitar like most guitars are so my left hand would be right here on the frets and i would play the strings with my right hand so but it's totally uh separated from the from the guitar itself so i'm very curious how i will be able to attach this let's put this back i am opening it this really goes totally to the bottom of this bag like you see the zippers all the way down there i'm gonna show you guys first i haven't seen oh it's in it's wrapped in some plastic the strings are already here it seems a bit similar uh the way it works okay so first of all we have this is probably the head of the guitar that we have to attach let's open this pouch up this is the head i believe from the guitar man this is something different this is really something different you've probably never seen an electric guitar like this before okay let's see this is just the head of the guitar <laughs> damn damn this this looks kind of nice actually this looks better than my other guitar i think let's see if it's more clear like this they kind of changed up their logo right they have like is it the second logo perhaps that they have right this this plane i like the silver coloring on this head of the guitar like look at the back i don't know what type of um, wood this is i'm not an expert in that but it's made in china that's not that big of a surprise i think like everything is made in china i believe oh and that's a nice detail you see on every part where the string is attached the logo is also right there let's see if it focuses yeah you see on every single one of them you see the logo of journey instruments that's cool that's really cool now let's see the body that that's what we're really here for right we first here have this black like uh, protection layer you could say where you attach the strings in between if the arm is separated and this is just with some velcro that you can uh, get it out like that and then the strings are just separated like that oh my god <laughs> this looks good this looks good <sighs> are you ready man oh wow look at that oh the backpack is gonna fall over I mean it doesn't really matter we're here for the guitar either way 
Let me just wipe it down a little bit. Wow. I'm first gonna show you the body and then we're gonna attach the arm, but it looks really nice, I think. There's still some plastic on these elements, these humbucker elements, uh, so I'm gonna pull that off in a, in a moment. Uh, but yeah, first sight, man, this is a fancy looking guitar. There's also a knob at the back where we can tighten the arm to the body. Uh, let's just try and do that. Let's see. So we can just probably push this arm into the head or the other way around like that and then just go ahead and push it in like this. Oh, 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 <laughs> now the strings are not correct yet. They're twisted, so <laughs> I'll have to turn it around like that. Yeah, I think it's like this. Okay, that should be much better. Okay. Let's see, it's like this. Have you ever seen an electric guitar like that? That is different. Clicks right into place. Now we have to tighten this. It feels sturdy actually, which is a good sign, I think. It's not that heavy actually, it feels good. I should have pulled off this plastic beforehand. It's, it's easier before I think, but let's me try and do it right now. Let's see if that works. Otherwise, I mean, I can always separate the arm again, so, but it seems to work. Oh, there doesn't seem to be one on the other element, which is kind of strange. I don't know what's up with that, but man, that is something. Okay, let's put this black belt on there and see how it looks, right? Alrighty, that's it. Okay, now it's not tuned yet, of course. Uh, I will do that in a minute, but I mean, looks wise, this is awesome. This is really awesome. Journey Instruments, thank you so much. And I will do more uh, videos on this. Uh, we have here uh, three different settings. I think this setting is more lower frequencies that take over than uh, mids and more highs. Which is what I assume, at least. Uh, then we have probably the volume right here. I don't know what this knot will do, but I will look it up. Uh, future me here again, after thinking about it, it makes sense that both are actually for the volume, but I think like this one is probably just for this lower uh, frequency setting and that this one is for the higher frequency setting and both are needed for the middle one that's why I assume actually here we can attach our cable that's basically it I think cool looking guitar really cool looking guitar and to be honest I don't even know actually where to put this one um, because like that rack is practically full uh, like here there are already four guitars right over there um, and my journey instruments first guitar is right here and now I have this one I want to try this out actually let's tune it and of course I have to use my own guitar picks right let's see if it focuses yes alrighty Let's see. Okay, so when I put this capo on, I think I might have to tweak around a little bit on this side to have the exact right tuning when I put a capo on because the tuning when I go higher 
is not perfect yet. By the way, guys, the logo that you see here from Journey Instruments is exactly on the 12th fret, which is one octave higher than the bridge on the beginning right there. It actually sounds pretty okay right now. If you guys have seen my music video, you might have recognized this tune because this is from One of Us by Joan Osborne. Sounds actually pretty similar. It plays pretty similar to my uh, Epiphone and it feels pretty similar. I'm pretty curious. I haven't compared sizes to my actual electric guitars. Yeah, it is definitely a bit shorter than my Epiphone. Weight wise, a bit less heavy, but it's pretty similar. sounds great. This is the high-end mode, uh, I think. Yeah, so this is more low-end, this is mids, and this is high. I actually love it. I love to play the chords on this. Man, I got goosebumps playing this. It feels so awesome. Journey Instruments, thank you so much for sending me this. Uh, I will definitely do more videos with this guitar, take some pictures with it. You probably have never seen a guitar quite like this before. It's an awesome product. Like I said, the link in the description down below if you want to buy some of them products. In this backpack, there is another tool that I want to test out, but that will be for another video. I don't really know how to end this. It's just... I don't want it to end. I don't want to end this video. It's just a cool guitar and I just want to keep playing for a moment but I actually should go to bed because I have to get out pretty early tomorrow and it's already like it's already past midnight so um, I have to go to sleep guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this was truly special uh, a very nice guitar yeah you might expect more videos uh, with this one in the future uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also, don't forget to check out some of my reaction videos, uh, some of my music videos and in the future I will definitely use this one. And I'm so hyped because I will probably take this guitar with me uh, to my next trip and that will be next summer and that will be a special one. I uh, hope you guys stay tuned uh, for that one. Yeah, and also check out some of my tutorials, which in the future also will include this guitar, probably. So thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.